More than any other project of the 1920s and 1930s decade, Pierre Charot's Maison de Verre seems to point out the aims of the architectural avant-garde of the period, modern spatial design served by the new technical solutions. Industry, with its methods and products, was to be both the minion of advanced technology and the carrier of a rationalization which, when applied to construction, was to have as its immediate corollary swiftness of execution, in other words, the time-money ethos of work. This was Pierre Charot's objective as quoted in one of the first articles on the Maison de Verre in L'Architecture d'Aujourd'hui, where he speaks of the house as being a model made by artisans with a view towards industrialization. In effect, we must bear in mind that this objective implied the slow piecing together of a prototype house, which explains the long duration of the work over four years and the high cost of the project, whose completion is due to the confidence and generosity of the patrons and friends of the architect, Annie and Jean d'Alsace, as well as to the commitment of the artisans, especially the locksmith d'Albé. Without entering into the debate on whether or not the habitat can really be standardized, the relative thwarting of Charot's claims takes nothing away from the consummate success of a house which, through the competent use of techniques and the richness of the spatial experience it affords, stands as one of the least controversial triumphs of contemporary architecture. Even so, it seems that in spite of the obvious fascination the work inspires, and perhaps because of it, the Maison de Verre remains virtually unknown. In fact, to date, architectural criticism has been concerned uh, with the finished object and through an almost total lack of source references has neglected to describe and to analyze the processes of fabrication that justify many of the solutions developed by Charot, throw more light on the overall rationality and remind us that the field of construction itself, far from being a simple constraint, remains a foundation of specific inventiveness and architectural expression.